Goopy and Bagha really put Bengal on the map. But isn't it bizarre that the delectable Rasogolla and Shondesh find no mention in it? Let's sail on a journey to the origin of this delicious god sent sweet meat of Bengal, iconic to its identity. Cottage cheese, popularly called chana, is the main ingredient in many delicious dishes that are out for sale. But in ancient Hindu literature, purposefully cuddling milk to make chana was considered unlucky, since milk, especially that from the sacred cows, was considered really auspicious. So, in traditional Bengali and Indian cuisine, they didn't use cottage cheese or meals made from chana. Things got different when the Portuguese showed up in India. Portugal really ruled the seas back in the 15th and 16th centuries. They were like the kings of worldwide trade and exploration. They were way ahead of their time when they came up with the concept of the caravel. A novel type of ship with two to four masts and triangular sails, perfect for their exciting sea voyages. Also, the Portuguese were able to gain a significant edge over the European countries in circumnavigating Africa and reaching India as they developed nautical signs that let them estimate latitude using stars and magnetic declination. Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese explorer, was the very first European to set foot in the Indian subcontinent on May the 20th, 1498. He landed near Calicut on the western coast and made history. The Portuguese were already a big deal in Bengal way before 1526 when Babur beat Ibrahim Lodi and took control of Delhi to kickstart the legendary Mughal Empire in India. Portuguese was like the language everyone spoke in the key places where people traded and did business in India. Europeans from different nations who came to trade in India also spoke Portuguese. Actually, the Portuguese has a very big impact on the Bengali language as well. In fact, many common Bengali terms like Janala, Pirek, Istiri, Shaban, Baranda, Girja, Jishu and even the word to describe the British, Ingrid, all came from Portuguese. The Portuguese came up with a method to use whey to cuddle milk and then shared it with the indigenous people. The local sweet meat makers in Bengal then had a noble way to show off their talent in creating a unique type of sweet meat. However, this new form of delicious treat was deemed not good enough to offer to the gods. The situation was actually quite different with the new religious movement of Sri Chaitanya. He was a big fan of chana, especially when mixed with honey. The general populace caught onto this chana fever and started to really like the sweets prepared with this new medium. The Portuguese also came up with two more unique types of cheese. The first one is called the Bandel cheese, named after the place where it was first created. That's where the Portuguese constructed their first chapel and even their trading station. The wonderful smoky smell of this cheese comes from salting and curing it over fire. However, Europeans primarily use it as a salad topping and it's not very popular in Bengali cuisine. Hey. Did you know that the dhakai paneer was really the second type of cottage cheese that the Portuguese brought to us? Pretty cool, right? So, if it wasn't for the Portuguese, Bengalis today would still be nibbling on monda like Halla Raja, quite oblivious to the heavenly taste of the Rasogolla or Shandesh.